The only way we can scale with AI is to create the types of uh, systems around quality and um, effectiveness that allow us to have the AI produce all of the code and us to come in and review things at the next level of abstraction higher, which would be at features. So we need to be able to review features, not lines of code. And so this idea that you give the, the crappy work to the AI and you do the important work yourself is fine right out of the gate, but it's not where we're going to be very soon. And it's not where some people are right now. So that's why this is advice that I generally tell people is a little bit out of date. It's a great place to get started. It's not a bad way to get using AI now, but it's not how you're gonna be using AI in six months. I agree with the comments of like, it's low hanging fruit to getting started. It's not visionary, it's not aspirational. It's not what you should be seeking to achieve. And it's definitely not like the, the bar you should be trying to keep up with. The main thing I take issue with there is the mindset, not not the, the activity, right? Like you thinking you're dealing with something that's really inferior. And so it just kind of creates this mindset of like, oh, this thing can only do these basic rote tasks and all the important stuff, it doesn't have any value to add to it. Yeah, you should be looking for ways to add value using AI to all aspects of what you're doing. Just for one, you should be writing so like spec files and having it implement spec files, right? Not Not just doing your whatever basic refactors or creating tests and doing reviews, that kind of stuff too. You need to be working on implementing larger features.